बेसिक फिजिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन ए पीस ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम वायर इज स्ट्रेच टू रिड्यूस इट्स डायमीटर टू हाफ ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल वैल्यू इट्स रेजिस्टेंस विल बिकम ऑप्शन ए टू टाइम्स बी फोर टाइम्स सी एट टाइम्स एंड डी सिक्सटी टाइम्स वी हैव बीन गिवन एट द न्यू डायमीटर हैव बीन रिड्यूस्ड बाय हाफ द वैल्यू ऑफ ओरिजिनल डायमीटर so we can write d2 is equals to d1 over 2 d1 is the original diameter and d2 is the new diameter hence we can also write d1 equals to d2 similarly r1 will also be equals to 2 times r2 remember r1 is the original wire and r2 is the stretched wire Actually, we have to find the ratio of R1 and R2. We know the formula of R is rho L over A. From here, we can see that we need to find L1, A1, L2, and A2. Only then we can find the value of R1 and R2, and that will be our answer. We can either find our values in terms of R1 or in terms of R2. and i will convert here all our equations in terms of r2 we know area of a1 is pi r1 square and we know the value of r1 it is 2 r2 so we will put here the value of r2 because we are converting a1 in terms of r2 so what we get a1 in terms of r2 We get a one is equals to four pi r two square. A two is already in terms of r two. We can write a two is equals to pi r two square. So these are the equations of a one and a two. Now find the ratio of a one to a two. Put the values of a one and a two. We have calculated. A one is four pi r two square divided by pi r two square. What we get here is pi r two square and pi r two square gets cancelled, and A one becomes four times A two. So this is our equation. We call it equation number two. Although by stretching the area and length of the wire will change, but its volume will remain constant. So we can say a one l one is equals to a two l two. Means volume original is equals to volume after stretch. Just put in the values of a one and a two we calculated earlier, and we will obtain the ratio of l one and l two. A one is four pi r two square, and a two is equals to pi r two square. Take L one and L two on the left hand side, and all other values on the right hand side. So we get L one over L two is equals to pi r two square divided by four pi r two square. Pi r two square in numerator and denominator gets cancelled. So we are left with L one over L two is equals to one over four. We can also write that. L two is four L one, and we call it equation number three. Now we will find our original ratio R one over R two, which is equals to rho L one over E one. Divided by rho L2 over A2. Now we will put all the values of L1, A1, L2, and A2. We know that A1 is equals to four times A2, and L2 is equals to four times L1. So put this in our main equation. L two is for L one, and only one is for A two. 
So we have the data not equation. And we have obtained the equation now in terms of L1 and A2. Now solve it. Row L1 divided by 4 A2 divided by 4 row L1 over A2. Change division into multiplication. A2 divided by 4 row L1. A2, A2 gets cancelled. Row L1 and row L1 gets cancelled. So we are left with 1 over 16. R1 over R2 is equal to 1 over 16. As we have to find the value of R2, so we arrange the equation in terms of R2. So R2 is equal to 16 times R1. Hence our answer to the question becomes 16 times. If we look at our options, it is option number D, hence it is the correct answer.